Greetings, Guardians, and welcome to the Voices of Vanguard. Today I have with me Sully from Sully Games. Say hello, Sully. Hello, Guardians. And today we have a 12 light episode. Uh, so we have a couple of um, topics for later on regarding Iron Banner. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, trials. I, really? Trials? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, we're going to discuss about the potential... <clears throat> The issue that's going on with trials at the moment and the new farming, Bungie, yeah, yeah, and how Bungie can fix that. So, but uh, let's first off, let's talk about uh, what we've been doing. So, I'll let you go first. What you've been doing? Um, just been trying to grind out pinnacles, uh, starting to slowly get back into doing, I think, a lot more raids here recently. I've been playing as much Crucible. As compared to the end of last season, so uh been doing a little bit more recruiting. I want to at least try to get five raids in a week is kind of my goal. Um, that can be like any of the raids, Leviathan, Garden. Preferably Garden for at least three of them to get the pinnacles, because I do want to try to hit uh, max power on all three characters again this season, which is, what, 1,050, I believe, with pinnacle. Isn't it only a thousand ten? Huh? Might be. Maybe it. Is. Maybe I'm thinking thousand fifty is the Grandmaster Nightfall. I think that's ten thirty. Or no, that might be master. I think ten thirty is master. Yeah, ten fifty might be Grandmaster. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's what I'm thinking. So yeah, I do want to hit max there. So on all three characters. So, but other than that, yeah, not really a whole lot going on right now. So hopefully, Bungie has something up their sleeves in their coming weeks to kind of get us some content to kind of get us excited and playing again. So yeah, yeah, yep. Uh, I feel you there. Uh, I've just been playing Iron Banner pretty much. Yep. Uh, did the raid with you guys uh, earlier this week. You did, and then you did another raid that sounded fantastic. <clears throat> oh, that was the one before that one. Yeah. The one... We were paired up with like like six, okay, so it's six to a team. But when we got to the second encounter for uh, the, 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 the Garden of Salvation, there was three, there was like, people wanted to do it three different ways, and no one could like pick one and stick to it. So I just left, I was like, screw this, I'm not I don't, it was 12 a.m., I'm not gonna sit here until 3 a.m. in the morning trying to figure out how to run the second encounter with you guys. Yeah, there's, to me, I do a lot of Sherpas for Garden, and there are times where I can sit there and I'm like, okay, I, you can kind of tell, like, that this raid team might be able to get it clear, maybe it won't be, like, Obviously, like, it may not be, like, super clean and stuff, but if you have a bunch of new people, but, like, you know, like, they're capable of it, and, yeah, and then there's, sometimes you get into a raid group where, like... Well, this wasn't even new people. Yeah, I guess you were just about to oh. say that. Yeah. That, uh... You, you just know, like, it's not gonna work. Like, <laughs> there's, there's too many disconsenting voices happening. Yeah, like, <clears throat> when I did the raid, I think it was last Sun Saturday, I think, when I did it with Ghost and Sup, like, we were struggling all over the place, and I could just kind of tell, like, I was like, we can get the boss. Like, I, I had no doubt about that, but I was like, I don't think we could beat boss, just because, like, it was Ghost and Sup's, like, first time, like, doing it. Like, obviously, like, when you're raiding with a new group of people that you don't know, like, you know, there's nerves and stuff, and, like, they kept, like, making, like, a lot of small, small mistakes, and we finally got to the boss, and, like, People kept missing, like, their portals, which is, you know, it's fine, it's, you know. Yeah. Once you understand that final boss encounter, it's super easy. But, like, mm -hmm. when you're doing it for the first time, that ga garden boss is just, there's so much going on, <clears throat> and you're just like, what's going on? Because you have to, like, pay attention to when you have to go, like, communication, like, mm -hmm. listening to builders and, like, getting out of the way the builders, so... But yeah, no, I can tell, like, with certain rare groups that, like, yeah, maybe this isn't going to happen, and maybe I'm just wasting my time, but... 
Yeah, it didn't, it didn't help that one of the guys was completely fucked up before we started. So. Oh, jeez. Was he like ninja <laughs> fucked up? Uh, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't stick around long enough, I guess. But, yeah. uh, love ninja. Um, <clears throat> we love you, buddy. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I didn't play Trials at all last weekend, because I don't think I'll ever play Trials again. Unless I mean, I played a little bit on Friday, um, with Ninja and JD. I mean, like, it was alright, um, but, like, <clears throat> I kind of just, after a while, I'm just like, you know, I'm not really getting, like, because, I, honestly, like, it would be awesome, and maybe at some point, like, I kind of sit down and be like, okay, I'm going to go flawless, but I'm sitting here, like, I have so much stuff in my backlog that, like, a few exotic quests that I need to finish up, and just other random stuff after, you know, having to delete my characters and restart, I'm like, I just want to get cleared, I'm like, I'm just wasting time, you know, doing that, like, when I can be doing other things at the moment. Um, right, yeah. So, but, I mean, I'll keep messing around with Trials. I don't know if I'll do it this weekend, but I'm not a completely hater on Trials. But at the same time, like, I don't have any desire to be like, okay, it's the weekend, let me play Trials. You know, like some people. Yeah, I just don't want to play a game mode for hours and not get anything out of it. (laughs) Unless they fix, like, the reward system or change it so that I can get something. I'm not gonna play it again. Yeah, um, be interesting to see what they do because there yeah. are some reworks yeah. that they need to do for that. So, um, yeah. So let's actually head into the trials. We'll talk about the bunker after. Okay. But uh, yeah, over the weekend, um, apparently, I didn't play it at all. But like Monday morning, I read. I was just reading Reddit, and people were talking about how higher tier or better players were just farming lower tier players. Like, they were just resetting their cards over and over in order to get a chance at a good ruled shotgun. And, yeah, this needs to be fixed. I don't know how they can do that. (laughs) Well, there really isn't any incentive to continue to go flawless. Like, and that's where I think Bungie needs to kind of fix. It needs to be basically... Trials needs to be the PvP version of Nightfalls. It needs to grant uh, materials and a chance for exotics to drop every single time. And that and the loot necessarily isn't like super great, so like maybe up the loot, but like that's I guess hopefully coming at, like, maybe next season or whatever, they do something big. But they need to do something to have at the end. Like, it needs to be able to grant exotic armor with really high stats, give them materials, like nightfalls. Like, there needs to be an incentive for people that are constantly running trials. Because, I mean, there there are super uh, competitive people out there that really love trials, and they'll just keep running trials over and over again like people that do nightfalls you know they do the 980 nightfalls or whatever whatever it is now for like the materials or you know the chances of getting a better exotic uh stat roll on an armor piece um so that's something that bungie needs to do uh and maybe because what it sounded like everyone was just trying to farm that shotgun at three and have armor be dropped at three wins and then a weapon dropped at five so that people aren't necessarily because if you're a top tier player it's probably pretty easy to get three wins so i feel like you force them to at least get five wins to get the weapon i think would be the smartest way for them to do that that's Right now, that's the biggest issue with Trials is the loot system for PvP players. 
And then all this does is just, it just discourages people from even playing that mode if they just get stopped in every match. Like, mm-hmm. like again, that happened to me. I'm discouraged from playing it because I can't get to three wins. I can't hand in cut tokens. Yeah. It needs to be something for people like me that just are no good and can get something out of it at least. I'm not yeah, even asking for a whole lot. Just maybe just something. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see on what they do. Like, if maybe they change the uh, token system to where all you have to do is get maybe one or two wins instead of three. Because obviously, your cards are card based matchmaking. So. No, no, it's not. You sure? They say it is, but it's not. People have been matched with people that have gone flawless while it was their first match. Well, yeah, if they're on a new card. No, like, I'm talking about people that have gone, like, like they got Flawless off of that match. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. So, well, it's supposed to be card-based matchmaking. <laughs> it's supposed um, to be, quote-unquote, <laughs> card-based. I mean, well, I was going to go with that. Uh, yeah, if they want to make it maybe one or two wins, or maybe you just have to get one win to be able to turn the tokens in, and make it to where... Um... The stat rolls aren't very good on the stuff, uh, especially armor, to where, Sorry. like, you make it more of an incentive to go flawless. But the person that isn't maybe just trying to, you know, get the loot pool complete in their collections, it can at least acquire the items, even if they're not good. So... So I know that's probably what you want to do is you just want to get the loot to have your collections complete. I just I just want something. No, something. I, don't... <laughs> I mean I, I said I don't really have the issue with the three wins myself. I mean, I understand your frustration with it, but like I feel like there needs to be some type of challenge to get wins or get loot. Um since it is like supposed to be like their end game for PvP, if you want to call it that. Oh man, I'll take Dusklight shards. I don't care. <laughs> You're getting bits right now. Just Confirm getting... bits and trials. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's more enjoyable things for me to do to get bits. Yes. <clears throat> Iron Banner. I actually, I greatly prefer Iron Banner over trials. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> yeah, actually, we play, we're playing the last two days. I've actually fairly enjoyed Iron Banner so far this season. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't know how... If that will last, to be honest. But... I mean, I guess we'll see. Overall, I still hate the fact that the quest line forces you to use weapons that you may not be comfortable with in a quote-unquote endgame <laughs> PvP, you know. <laughs> you guys not a big fan of the bow? Of, I just think in general, any <laughs> weapon. Like, you know, you're making people use... <clears throat> it should be... I think the quest line should be more based off of team play. So... Make it based off of wins, captures. Um, you can maybe do eliminations, so that could be you killing them or getting an assist. Um, maybe you could do an elemental kills, so not necessarily it has to be like certain weapon, but if you're using void arc or solar subclass R weapon, it would count. But I just, I don't personally like having people forced to use, you know what, because there's a lot of times where where I was running with the bow, I was just more focused on getting my bow kills done. So this quest line's done. Instead of going out there and playing the game as the objectively for it, like, I'm just, oh, let me get these bow kills out of the way, get this quest line done, boom, let me go to the next character. Because I can guarantee you a majority of the Guardians out there playing Iron Banner are like that. So make it more forced yeah. on team-based <clears throat> over weapon-based. I don't know. I, I like having the uh, 
having the weapons, like having to play with each certain weapon, uh, like it varies up my play style. Um, every time you get to that that section of the quest, it gives you like a weapon uh, from Iron Banner that's part of that quest line. So like a wise and rebuke for fusion rifle kills. And the one I got was really good. Like I ended up keeping it. It's probably going to be in my rotation for a bit. And it made me realize that fusions are pretty good in uh, PvP if you're good with them. So yeah, it's all about knowing how to <clears throat> pre-charge with the fusion rifles. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't have a problem with it. If they're gonna change it to be something just like get wins or get captures. I could, I find that super boring. Like, get 500 captures. It's like, okay, well, I guess I'll just play this game mode a lot, and not really <laughs> do anything. <laughs> just, I mean, you like, just at that point, you're forcing oh. the team to work together, and actually win, instead of forcing people to use non-meta weapons, which I find fun. So, I I enjoy that. I don't know. Uh, like, I never used a bow in PvP until they like, told me to use that stag bow or well just any bow really but i ended up using the stag and i ended up liking it quite a bit and you probably won't ever use a bow again i probably won't but i had a good time so, so I don't know, i'm more forced <laughs> more forced on hey let me make it team play <clears throat> objective based quest instead of weapon based i mean obviously there are team elements because like there's played so many games slash and i think mm -hmm. there might be captures on a few of them but <clears throat> there are there are get like wins and captures there is um i just if they're gonna change it just don't make it get like a bunch of captures or a bunch of wins that, that's really boring it, mm -hmm. it's very, it makes it st stale or just get rid of the quest line in general and give us better loot because, I mean, other than claws... <laughs> give us some new guns, maybe? Some new armor? Yeah, like, give us some new stuff. Or add everything into the rotation. Mm. Like, from Destiny 2, Iron Banner, armor, weapons. If even possible, you could add some new ones or bring some ones back from D1. Um, sure. But, yeah, I'm interested in seeing on what happens. Yeah, they've been asking for Iron... feedback on Iron Banner. Uh, yeah, a lot actually this time around. I saw DMG tweet out a few things about Iron Banner. I haven't been on Reddit, so I'm sure there's something on Reddit. But uh, it's something I continue to say. I mean, Iron Banner right now is just literally stale. All it is is infusion gear, infusion fuel, like literally the first time around you play it to get all your pinnacles and then maybe you play it the second time around like there's really no incentive to play it because like realistically like i mean i like i really like the claws i think that's a fantastic pulse rifle um i don't know if there's really anything else in that rotation for weapons like I don't think the hand cannon's very good. The Wizen Rebuke. The uh, fusion rifle. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have messed around the fusion rifle. That, I mean, that is a fair. I've had a fairly good roll on. I think that's what I use to get my fusion rifle kills. Um. Um. The grenade launcher is still pretty good for people that don't have a good power weapon. Oh, swarm. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you can get, get spike nades on it. Yeah, it's still not bad. Yeah. Um, do they have a sniper rifle? Yeah, it's Bite of the Fox. Bite of the Fox, yeah, that's it's right. The Kinetic. <laughs> or, yeah, Kinetic. Yeah, I, I hardly Spire. ever use their weapons. Yeah, so know. realistically, the only one I'll use is Claws. I mean, I'll... Depending, and that's just kind of depending on my loadout. If I'm running Revoker, I run Claws. If I'm not running Revoker, I'm running Sacred. So, I'm mm -hmm. trying to think. What's, is there an AR? What's the AR? They have a Hero's Burden for the SMG, right? I don't, I don't think I've ever shot the SMG one. I mean, I have Recluse, so I'm not going to use any other SMG. Right, right. 
Of course. I don't even think I used it even before the SMG. I got Recluse. Roar the Bear for the rocket launcher. Which I don't even know if that's any good, to be honest, just because rocket launchers in general are just trash. So, like, and it might be really good, but just in general, rocket launchers are just so bad. And unless you have truth for PvP, but, like, PvE-wise, like... Can you tell you last time I the only times I shoot a rocket launcher and most of the time it ends up being freaking a cup barrier because it happens to be the rocket launcher I just happen to pick up and I have a quest or a bounty that's like oh get ten rocket launcher kills <laughs> so I can get these bits well let me throw a cup barrier real quick and get these kills real quick and then dismantle it yeah so but yeah, yeah rocket launcher might be good but yeah I think they need to give us. Some type of an incentive, because I'm sure that will be changing. Here soon, we'll be getting, be like, really? Another week of Iron Banner? Like, come on. We just had Iron Banner. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of changes they make, because while I am having fun, I do realize that people are pretty... Like, I was still with it last season, but I don't know what, yeah, I don't know what the was... change is. Maybe it's because I played Trials, and now I play this. I'm like, oh, this is way better. See, I... And, like, the funny thing is, is I've seen a lot of people really, like, complain about, like, PvP this season. I've actually really enjoyed PvP this season a, a lot. Um, I wouldn't say I necessarily enjoy Trials, but I don't, like, hate Trials. But, like, just in general, like, on, like, just going into, like, normal Crucible, like, I've had a lot of fun. I actually had a lot of fun playing comp. The other day with JD, uh, we actually did really well. Mm -hmm. So, and it seemed to be like non sweats in there while trials was going on. <laughs> so we're still we're still pretty low, mm -hmm. but I think we played like five or six games, and we went like we went either four and one or five and one. And I think the one game that we lost, it was like really good. Like it was just like one of those like close games but i'll have to go back and check i guess all right uh so new bunker i'm almost done upgrading it yeah i just have like two upgrades left it's a bunker yeah uh... <laughs> i as i said i'm really hoping Something changes midway through this season that kind of. I think the only thing that's going to change is the uh, the hero games, guardian games. Yeah. Everything else is going to be kind of like you know by the numbers. Uh there might be one secret that they just like, like last season they had that secret. But... I'm hoping that we see another secret. I I know a lot of people. I don't know what the actual like where this started um <clears throat> but a lot of people are thinking that we're going to get another community event coming up um like donate to rasputin no people are suspecting another like quarters of time N maybe not up like that scale but mm -hmm. something similar to that. Maybe like more like a Niobe Ni Labs situation. Yeah. Um, I've been seeing a few people tweet about that. Um, something yeah, that, well, that there's a hidden triumph. Cool. People are trying to solve that. Um, mm -hmm. And also, the each of the bunkers, I think, has like a code or some, uh, some binary that needs to be deciphered or something. Yeah. Trying to piece these things together while, while they can. I don't know. So, but yeah, I mean, overall, it's just another bunker. Um, it's w whatever. Like, mm -hmm. I'm hoping after we get IO is when we start to kind of get some like exciting things to happen in PVE. Um, if not, it's gonna be. I'm. It's gonna be tough to like. To really do things like there just isn't gonna be like really in any incentive i'm just literally gonna have to like almost kind of like force myself to do like raid carries and stuff yeah because i 
even when I'm not, like, when you pop on and I play Destiny, like, I still have fun. Like, the game is really enjoyable. I just give me stuff to do. Like, mm -hmm. challenging things to do. Like, uh, so the next Lost Sector, or, well, not Lost Sector, uh, Seraph Bunker is IO. That's April 7th. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Where's the yeah? There's probably gonna yeah. There's gonna be any new exotic weapons or is like wait. We already did the exotic quest, right? We did one of them. We don't know how many. I think the, is there supposed to be three weapons that we know of, or we're we speculating? Say, we just say one exotic quest in the uh, the line, like the the stuff up top. Um. Yeah, I'm looking at this stream. New exotic armor, new exotic weapons. I don't think we got any other exotic weapons so far, right? Yeah, we just have four horsemen and the uh, Tommy gun. Hmm. Interesting. So, <clears throat> uh, my guess is hopefully, so, IO is April 7th? Yes. So, my guess is April 14th is that will probably would be the best time we would get, a, like, a secret thing. Like, because the week after that, it's Grandmaster Nightfalls, which I'm actually, like, really excited for, because we don't really know anything about it. I don't know why you're excited for Grandmaster Nightfalls, but it's just going to be harder Nightfalls with more guaranteed loot drops. That's about it. Hey, it's challenging. We haven't even done the Master Nightfalls this season yet. Well, let's do one this weekend. All right, let's do one this weekend. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This is pretty underwhelming so far. Um, I'm looking to seeing what they have else in stock because they do have the end more tag. But uh, it just opens up the door for us to play other things in the meantime. It does. Um, there's a lot of... Oh, I guess there's a lot of things to play. Um, yeah, there's a lot of games coming. Like, the new Doom came out. Like, I don't have money to buy like buy these games, but new Doom came out. New Animal Crossing came out. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming out. Resident Evil 3 is coming out. So, yeah. Maybe that's why they don't have as much content in the seasons, so that they can play other games while they work on this one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It's just that it kind of goes back, and we kind of back to last season on how they showed their cards too much. Yeah, yeah. And now they're like, okay, which is fine. Like, they completely revamped their roadmap, and then we don't know anything about this season. And there literally could be absolutely nothing. Or there could be some exciting things coming up that we just don't know about. And Bungie's like, okay, you guys complained that we showed you everything and that backfired on us. So now we're going to show you nothing. And now everybody's like, well, there's nothing to do. There's nothing coming up on the roadmap. Like, well, I guess I'm just going to go play Animal Crossing. Which isn't a bad thing, I guess. I've been hearing a lot of people really like Animal Crossing. Hmm. So... Uh, all right. So let's head into the twelve then. The twelve. Uh, yeah. So Iron Banner is back. Um, new legendary lost sectors available. Yeah. Uh, the pistol you can now get from the uh, Sarah Bunker from Rasputin. Uh, I got I got a quest for it. I don't think I have it yet, but uh, I need to get my hands on one of those. Um, what else? It's like world drops are getting adjusted. Yeah, so world drops are getting adjusted. There's several armor sets added to the Ingram uh, loot pool. Season of the Worthy. We saw a lot of feedback that while you were excited to see your favorite armor sets from the past, the fact that none of them had seasonal mod slots made them feel less desirable. Uh, so they're adding seasonal mod slots. Uh, to these sets in the next uh, uh, in an update next month, uh, the three faction sets will get the season of the worthy mod slots, and the rest of the armor will get the season of the dawn or season of the dying mod slots. 
Um, just wish they would just be all yeah, just season. <laughs> Why do that? Like, <laughs> just make it just one general mod area, and you can put any general mod in there if it's raid or season based. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> I don't know why they have to do this. Yeah, um, armor is already kind of a pain in the ass to like grind for with the stats. It's a little bit easier now since you can change like the elemental on it, but yeah, and they made it more friendlier to get higher stats on them. Yeah, from certain sources. Uh, so season of mod, yeah, season mod slot added, or season of dawn mod slot added. Uh, Den and cure retrograde TG two he- hero camo, Cam- camo. Uh, road complex A one devastation complex high mining complex, and then undying mod slot added. Red moon phantom, the medic savior, thorium holt tangled web, uh, prodigal, uh, frumius. Noble Constant Type 2, Ego Talon 4, Errant Knight, Karak Type 2, and Philomath. Philomath. Uh, so, fixings for uh, March twenty uh, March 31st. Uh, they're going to deploy a new hotfix. Main target of this update will be, will be the issue affecting Trials of Osiris challenges not being reset properly. Uh, here's a quick preview of other fixes coming up in this update. Uh, fix an issue where upgrades on the season pass were only unlocked for one character. It will now properly unlock for the entire account. Uh, fix an issue where the first weekly clear of a legendary lost sector would not award a powerful drop. Uh, fix an issue. What? I said that sucks. <laughs> yeah. If you're trying to form your power. Yeah. Uh, fix an issue with uh, Raiju's Harness that allows players to hold Whirlwind Guard indefinitely. Fix an issue where Titan's Season Pass Arm Ornaments block first person view. Uh, season hmm. Pass SMG and Shotgun will now create War Mind Cells with Season Pass Ornaments equipped. Fix an issue where Sentinel Titans were able to extend Sentinel Shield and Banner Shield by suppressing themselves. Uh, fixed an issue where players are not, were not getting the correct amount of planetary materials from bunker upgrades. Raise your hand if you were affected. Where's that? How many, how many dislike shards are you getting? I don't know. Because I'm only getting one out of my chest. I'm getting like... I think five. You bastard. I'll have to check. <laughs> I, I guess maybe I don't even know because my inventory is fucking full. So with all my raid banners, so uh-huh. it just says go to postmaster. So aside from the fixes, we're also continuing to investigate disconnects, crashes, error codes being reported uh, since two point eight. Uh, we released. <clears throat> Currently, we are seeing elevated disconnects from the tower on all platforms, but disconnects from other activities seems PC specific. Uh, the fix we deployed has appeared to resolve the crashings affecting Gambit, but didn't help with other disconnects. We had made additional attempts at fixing disconnects that haven't resulted in a decline in error codes, and are continuing to work on new fixes for elevated beater, beetle, and eater, and rabbit errors. Uh, we'll, give, we'll give you more information as soon as we can. Damn beavers, man. We got hit hard yesterday by I some got a beavers. rabbit yesterday i mean at least they're cute <laughs> i've never seen a rabbit before it's weird you've never seen a rabbit before Oof, you never go outside then <laughs> all right uh so okay let me get let me um quickly talk about the uh the issue they talked about with trials of osiris challenges because they kind of just glossed over that um, okay. They put out a tweet. Let me try and find it now. Bungie updates. Is it Bungie help? Yeah. So Trials of Osiris weekly challenges will unlock at 5 p.m. Pacific on Saturdays. Players will have to wait until this time to play through Trials again to earn the rewards from these challenges. <laughs> In a future patch, we'll move this reset to the Friday daily reset. So, mm-hmm. I think uh, the challenge is the three wins, right? 
be my guess. I yes. don't know what other challenge it would be. To say yes. Uh... <laughs> So yeah, you you won't be getting anything until they reset it on the Saturday. Uh, so next up, Twitch Prime rewards. This month we have the Prometheus lens as, uh, as an exotic weapon, the Eye of Osiris for the ornament, Tyrant Shell for the Ghost Shell, and the Fleet Ska 9 as the legendary ship. I really like that shell. Yeah, I've already got all this stuff, so I'll just... Yeah. Get it and dismantle it. Free shards. Can't go wrong there. <laughs> I'm sure you only have like probably like five thousand. So, uh, you might be right. I was I was at eight thousand. Oh jeez. Yeah. Going broke. Uh, Destiny player support is constantly tracking known issues. This is a report. Trials weekly challenge reset time. Uh, oh, I guess I already talked about that. Yeah, we discussed that. Uh, Season of the Worthy Seal. So they noticed players that were trying to, to uh, unsuccessfully to unlock a hidden triumph. I talked about that a little bit earlier. Uh, it won't be, oh. be able to unlock until late April. So it's probably be Grandmaster <clears throat> Nightfall. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe something secret related. Maybe. Uh, Rasputin and Bunker Bounties, with the Moon Bunker now unlocked, Destiny player support noticed that some confusion about bounties Rasputin offered. Weekly and daily Rasputin bounties are only available on the destination where the weekly challenge is active. Uh, so yeah, and then April 7th, will, it'll probably be at the uh, be at IO, and then it'll be on a yep. weekly rotation after that. Yes, sir. Uh, so current known issues, some players may not receive progress on Crucible and Iron Banner quests and bounties. This is caused by connection issues and continuing to play will progress these objectives. Uh, we had some issues with that. We did. Um, so basically what I'm seeing is change your matchmaking settings from skill-based matchmaking to connection. Not me, please, no. Oh, uh, you want? Uh, you, I prefer the yeah, skill. You, yeah, because I'm I, low skill. I like skill based matchmaking, but like I hate having to bring you into some of my games. So where I think the connection base would kind of even that out a little bit. So, uh, yeah. we have Rasputin's daily Seraph weapon can only be claimed on the characters character players that were on when rank. 92 of the season pass is unlocked. This cannot be claimed on other characters. Uh, in the Lost Classics, Rasputin Bounty does not count Crucible matches in the Classic Mix playlist. Rip. And then that's it. Yeah, it was pretty weak. This week, so... Yep. Um, we also don't have any questions this week. I so... Will this be any in the podcast here? Unless you have something to say? I don't think so. Alright. So, Sully, where can the people find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitch, Mixer, Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube at Sully underscore underscore games. You can find me, your host, Thomas, on Twitter, CSG Thomas. You can also check us out here at Charshot.com for all your video and written content. Uh, check out my Twitch, King Play stuff. That's where I host the shows live. Uh, join the chat, have some fun. Uh, please review us on iTunes, Stitcher, or anywhere you get your podcasts. Five stars the best. And you can email me, thomas at charshot.com, if you have any questions. And until next time, eyes down, Guardians. Nice little breezy show. Yeah, there wasn't really a whole lot going on this week. <laughs>